Hi and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a Gantt chart with Microsoft Excel. A Gantt chart is a chart that shows um, the time frame of an open project broken, broken down by each um, individual or specific task. It can show how long each task has to be taken uh, from start to completion. So in order to create a Gantt chart, we need to have the data in our Excel. Here I have a simple set of data which I will show, I will use to show you how to create your Gantt chart. I have here three columns. One, two, three. Okay. Um, the first column is the task. I have here task number one up to task number ten. The second column is the begin date. Uh, this is when the project will start. And the third column is the days uh, required for the task to be completed. Okay, so this indicates how long each task will last. So let's begin. Um, to create a Gantt chart, we need to go to the Insert tab over here. And here you will see these chart options. And we are going to select the bar. And uh, there's, uh, there are several options that you can choose from over here. And uh, I'm going to select the 3D stack bar. Okay. So once once you click, so once you click, you will see uh, this um, blank uh, area appearing on the spreadsheet. Okay, so um, in order to uh, let me just make this bigger. Okay, so in order for us to have our Gantt chart, we the first thing you need to do is to select this area. Okay, and right click. And then we're going to choose select data. Okay, as you can see here, we have a select data source dialog appearing. So right now we're going to go to the legend entries and we're going to click add button. Okay, so uh, the edit series tab will appear. So for the series name, we're going to select the begin date. Okay, all right. And then for the series value, we have to remove the default and we're going to select the, the range of data or cells that is in the same column as the begin date. So in this case, it's this one. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Okay, so let me just move this. Okay, so now you can see a chart um, generated here on the Excel. So next, let's go back to the select data dialog box and we're going to add one more entry. For this one, I'm going to select the days to be completed and for the series value, just remove the default and select the range of uh, data that is in this column. The same column as the series name which is the days to complete and click OK okay so now as you can see we have a more complicated chart the next step is to go to the horizontal axis label okay right here we will select edit okay so a box will appear and asking us to choose the axis range so here we're going to choose uh, Task 1 to task 10. Okay, so click OK and we're going to click OK for this box. And now we have all our data. Okay, so let me tell you what we have here we have the list of tasks from task number 1 to task number 10. We have the blue bars which represents the begin date, and we have the red, red ones over here, red area. This represents the days to be completed and we have the dates down here below. Okay, so there you have it, the gun chart is done. So now that we have the gun chart, let's make it look a little bit better. Okay, you can see the blue areas over here uh, takes up a lot of space in the chart. And if you notice the date, it starts here from 16 May and it doesn't really uh, Uh, represent anything here in the chart because uh, task number one here starts on the 22nd of 
me okay so um, we're going to remove this one so because it doesn't represent anything so you just click on the blue bar area I can see it's being highlighted and then you right click and we go to format format data series and here we go to fill okay, select no fill okay and close okay now you can see that it's gone okay but now we have another problem which is um, we have this empty area over here okay so we have to correct this okay so it's the same thing we uh, we have to correct the dates down here below so we have to click this area and it's the same thing you have to go right click format axis okay in this moment you will see uh, this area over here the axis option and you will see a bunch of numbers over here okay so let me tell you what it is so our start date the earliest start date for us is the 22nd of May so it's right down here okay so you need to the next step you need to do is to copy this and just paste it anywhere empty and then you select this cell and go to this area over here uh, and click general okay and once you click general you can see that this is the number uh, 42146 this represents the date uh, 22nd May here in Excel okay so what we need to do is uh, go back to the chart uh, right click format axis okay you can see this bunch of numbers over here okay let's just click this fix uh, check it and type in the date here okay which is the set of numbers which we got 42146 okay and then click close so this now you can see um, the chart starts from 22nd May right and we can delete this one Okay, delete this one. So uh, there you have it. We have our gun chart. Okay, 